Thank you so much for taking the time to hear the powerful word of truth from Prophet Bishop H. Walker. By way of special announcements, join Prophet Walker at True Life Pentecost Church every second Sunday of each month in Atlanta, Georgia at 957 Metropolitan Parkway at 4.30 p.m. Also join in with True Life every fourth Sunday of each month in Charlotte, North Carolina at 300 North Tryon Street located at the Public Library of Charlotte. For further details, go to www.truelightpentecost.org and click on announcements for any current events. Thank you so much for supporting Prophet Walker and the True Light Ministry. Be encouraged and be blessed. You are now viewing Prophet H. Walker and True Light Pentecost Church. Those that are viewing and seeking after righteousness, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. What is the first fruit we hold? The lump is also holy. Now, if God or His church is holy, then the lump or those who are receiving come forth from the church must also be holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. All right. And if some of the branches be broken off, then thou being a wild olive tree for a to follow him. All right. Amen. And it didn't make me no difference who didn't want to go. All right. I had made up my mind to go. And sometimes, y'all can see. Three problems. Sometimes the devil throws some tests at you. All right. Man, I made some tests. I told y'all when I first came into holiness, the mother was in the Baptist church. She stayed in the Baptist church about a year. 
But I kept pressing my button. I didn't do no tugging, no begging. Amen. I just kept letting my light shine. Glory. And I was praying that she would come in. Amen. But I had made up my mind. Glory. I said, that man, I said, oh, I'm not going to the Bible. Grab my clothes, just got home from work. I don't even think I took a shower. I was just in a hurry to get to the house of God and hear that preacher. Amen. And I looked around, she was grabbing clothes too. Lord. And it's been with me every since. She's still here. Amen. 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 Again, we always honor our great God, the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. Again, the one God eternal and the Lord who made the worlds. The Bible says he was in the world and the world was made by him. And the world knew him not. He came to his own and his own received him not. But as to as many as would receive him, to them he gave power become the son of God, even to them that would believe on his name. Now again, the scripture says he was given a name above every name. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Things on earth and things in heaven. And I, I've shared that many times. If there's two other gods in heaven, they got to bow to the name of Jesus. Amen. So again, I, I'm thankful that I came to the knowledge of the truth. No, no moments where I wanted to ever leave holiness. Yeah. Yeah. And it's always been good. It ain't always been hey man, ice cream and cool it. Yeah. Ain't always been that, that that ride going down the hill. Yeah. I said if you 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 sleigh ride or you ski, the other people slide down the hill, you gotta climb up that hill. Amen. Yeah. So it takes something for the individual to reach a, 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 a situation in their life where they truly recognize that God is their all in all. And all of my teachings have been trying to set an example before you yeah. that the Bible is real and that God is real. You can't always try to question why certain things happen and, and you say, well, I don't know whether that should happen or not that way. Or how come this and how come that? But you cannot equate your relationship with God on your carnal understanding or your carnal mind. Because that will flip you every time. The Bible says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. You have to have a new mindset. And that conformance will be renewed by the be uh, transformed rather by the renewing of your mind. The word transform again means change. Amen. All through the scripture it mentions something about change. Whether it's repentance, whether it's Amen. converted, change all symbolizes the same thing. It's got to be a difference in you than it was prior to you coming into holy. Now I, I, I said before that when you have a, a leader who has set an example, Amen. you got to follow that leader. Amen. Now, you notice when Jesus went to get uh, to the Sea of uh, River of Jordan to get baptized, yeah. and he told the disciples when uh, when John the Baptist didn't want to baptize him, he said, "No, suffer this to be. Yeah. Thus it is to fulfill all righteousness." And when, now what was God doing? He was setting an example for them to follow. Amen. And at the uh, uh, sacraments, he said, now I'm going to wash your feet. And what I'm doing, you don't understand it. So Amen. don't try to figure it out. All right. But he grabbed a towel, got on his knees, and washed the disciples' feet. And the scripture said that he had set an example for us to follow. And said, do this until I come back. Amen. And every first, uh, first of the year, we, we take part in them sacraments because we are trying to fulfill 
the requirement that God had. Now, the point I'm trying to bring out here, I want to get to First Thessalonians. The uh, point I'm trying to uh, bring out here, you have to have someone to follow. Amen. And you have to know the someone that you are following. Amen. Otherwise, you, brother said you can end up in a dead end. Amen. But if you know your leader, and, and if you can understand the miracles that have come through me and come through you. Amen. God is a healer right today. Hear me, somebody. He'll heal your body. He'll heal that tumor. He'll, he'll heal that unnatural blood flow. He'll heal it. But you have to walk by the faith principle. You got to believe this in your heart. You can't halfway believe it. We shared how many times of the rich man when he went to God and said, my son is home dying when you come. And finally, God said, well, show me the way. And he said, wait a minute, you, you don't have to come. All you have to do is speak the word. Now that showed belief because Jesus said, believe without this. He said, yea, Lord, I believe. And he turned around and walked away. So I'm showing you, uh, brothers and sisters, there has to be a, a, a belief system in within your character to let you know that the Bible is right, and that you're not wasting your time in holiness, and you can't try to figure out why, why, uh, why there's 30,000 T.D. Jakes Church, uh, 40,000 in Joel Osteen's Church, and a handful in True Life. You can't, you can't, you're equating on a a, a natural, uh, uh, trying to figure out the Church of God in a natural equation. And you can't do it that way. Amen. You have to trust in God and the church. And then line up the church and the leader with the sacred scriptures. Amen. And that way you can never go wrong. That's why in sermons and in Bible classes, go right to the word of God. Amen. Now, others can go in a different direction. And I, I had a a pastor tell me some years ago, well, it's all how you interpret the Bible. I said, no, it's not how you interpret it. It's how the leader interprets the Bible to give to the people. Right. That's why you got division in the church. That's why you got division in the church. Because you got too many leaders. And God didn't chose all these leaders. Amen. Never Amen. told you to go to church of your choice. Never told you whatever church you go to, it's all right as long as you serve him. You can't serve him in a diverse manner. Amen. You gotta be a unity of the spirit. And when it's unity of the spirit, it comes through the individual. And here, hear, hear me. I'm gonna try to get my text in a minute. The individual makes a decision for himself and his soul salvation. You can't base it on nobody else. The story of Ruth, I think, is paramount to bring up that equation so clearly. Naomi tried to discourage her. You see, I'm going back to my people. I'm going back, amen, to Jerusalem. Amen. I, I, I had enough heartache here. And she said, well, I'm going back with you. She said, no, look at your sister-in-law. Huh? Amen. She going back to her people, her gods, mm -hmm. and her people go back with her. She said, no, you, you are my people. Amen. Your people are my people. And your God is my God. So she made a decision to leave away from relatives. Even after Naomi said, now wait, where I'm going? Your auntie and your grandma, they're not coming. But she didn't care about that. And, and, and listen close. Don't think it didn't hurt her one more. Don't think she didn't reflect back. Sure she reflected back. She was thinking about it. But she had to make a decision. This is decision time. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. We cannot try to act like the rest of the world because we are not like the rest of the world. And we got to make up our mind and understand that. And we got to have a peace of mind in making that conscious decision. I'm not like them. I'm not trying to be like them. I used to be like them, but I'm not like them anymore. I don't let away from them. Why would I turn around and want to go back to that? All right. It boils down to belief. Uh, give me, uh, I, I want to say this, but uh, I, I think I better get Romans uh, 
Nephilim chapter first. I got some great uh, praise reports here I'm gonna bring up, but amen. amen. God's moving here. <laughs> I got to let him have his way. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Uh, in the book of Romans. I believe that's chapter. Is that chapter 10? Chapter 11. Uh, jump right in this by time. Verse 14. If by any means I may provoke to emulation them which are my flesh, and might save some of them, for if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, what shall the receiving of them be but life from the dead? Uh -huh. For if the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. Now if God or his church is holy, then the lump or those who are preceding come forth from the church must also be holy. Uh -huh. okay. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. All right. And if some of the branches be broken off, then thou being a wild olive tree were grafted. I'm talking Gentiles here. Amen. A wild olive tree, amen. Were grafted in amongst them, and with them partakest of the root and fatness of the olive tree. Uh -huh. Boast not against the branches, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root thee. Uh -huh. Thou wilt say then, the branches were broken off, that I might be grafted in. The Jews were destroyed so that the Gentiles could come in. Watch, coach. Well, because of unbelief, they were broken off. Now, because unbelief. Mm -hmm. Now, what may hear me? When God delivered the Hebrew people from Egypt. He set a condition before them. He wanted to first show them divine power, divine intervention. This is why he confused Pharaoh and gave a, Pharaoh gave, he gave a commandment that the Hebrew people go. I'm tired of them. They wanted me. Let them go. Amen. But then God made his mind change to follow in pursuit after them. Now, what was God doing? He was trying to show the people. Now, look, you, you got a problem here. You got Pharaoh's army coming after you to kill you, and you got the Red Sea in front of you, and you ain't got nowhere to go. So the people had to do what? They had to rely on divine intervention. I said before, there comes a time in life. You got to trust in God to help you in a situation that you in that you cannot help yourself out of. Why don't you listen to me when I tell you? You don't need God. And once you've been called the holiness and know the truth and the truth has been exposed to you, yeah. you got to follow that truth. Amen. It can't be like that. Other churches. Amen. Well, I, I decide I don't want no more church. Uh -huh. You can't do that. The wrath of God is guilty against all unrighteous of men who hold the truth True. and what? All right. The wrath of God. Anger of God. You don't want to be in the presence of an angry God. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you know somebody run a red light somewhere in America and kill somebody? But it wasn't you. I got hit last year. Woman ran a red light. I mean, blatantly run the red light. Thank the Lord, the police back behind, and another car now, and the lady jumped out the car. Said, "I saw it. Don't you ain't got the way I saw it." I said, "Well, yeah, I saw it too, cause she hit me." Yeah. So, uh, I'm saying, now, she put on the brakes, and I put on the brakes, and it just barely hit 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 me. It didn't put, cause no serious damage. I, I think it, I had to replace the headlights or something. But I'm saying, brothers, well, fatalities come. All the time, I get, yep. and people take running a green light for granted. Your point I'm trying to make here, if you, if you hang with me. I'm trying to show you don't take nothing for granted in this earthly journey without Jesus being on your side. Amen. Because things happen every single day. That's right. Somebody gets in an accident and is cut off and have to stand before the judgment on the bar. Amen. You don't know why, but you just know it wasn't you. But don't take that because it wasn't you. Don't take it for granted. Yeah. Understand God has found favor with you and allowed you to be in the land of living so that you can praise and worship God. And to try to try to catch home, holding something in this world, and then be, I want the church and I want to be the world. See, God has made it so. That's why he, he was so firm on separation. Amen. Amen. Come out from amongst them and be ye separate, 
saith the Lord. Not said Prophet Walker, saith the Lord. And then I will receive you and you shall be my people. But he don't receive you until after you make a separation. But the separation can't come if you don't have a belief. Now the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter, because of unbelief, they were cut off. Now God gave them a promised land. Say, I'm going to take it away from the heathen and give it to you. You're going to have to do a little fighting every now and then, but you ain't going to lose no battle because I'm giving it to you. So why do you have to fight for it? You get to it because I'm going to find out where you're at. You still trusting me. Are you still serving me? Amen. Amen. There is a battle always, and there's a battle within the flesh all the time. But you can't grasp hold to the old carnal you and still please God. Amen. You got to make a decision because God demands a complete sellout. Amen. Faith is the uh, 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 the condition in which holiness is made manifest in the individual. You ain't gonna be holy if you, ain't, if you don't believe. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. You do, do what you wanna do. You do like you used to do back in the old days. Sometimes you get high when the person you, uh, the person mistreats you, you say, I'm bad, I ain't back like I used to be. God, I bust them. <laughs> That's how they do it. <laughs> <laughs> you were back in the old days. I don't know how the result would come out. <laughs> Take two to fight. <laughs> but I'm saying, you don't do that because you're not that person anymore. That's right, Bob. You've been transformed. Now again, the Bible is very plain. Verse 19. Thou will say then, the branches were broken off, that I might be grafted in. Well, because of unbelief, they were broken off, and thou standest by faith, be not high-minded, but fear. Now, thou standest, now, now, tell me, New Testament church, now, you, you standing by faith, or you believe. But look here. Don't be high-minded. Right? Don't take it for granted. Amen. Yeah. But fear. Fear what? Fall away. <laughs> Next verse. For God spared not the natural branches. If he didn't spare the Jews on that wilderness journey, to a, what, to a promised land he gave them. Now, they was going to a promise land. Do y'all know what promise means? Amen. It means something someone is going to give you. Amen. Oh, your birthday coming up next week? I'm going to give you a present. You stand on that. And what you're looking for that present when your birthday comes. You, 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 in the case of prison, forgive me. Don't you remember you promised me a present? Amen. Especially the kids are good for it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For if God spared not the natural branches, huh? Take heed, lest he also spare not thee. Now, again, the word take heed means to take notice or be aware of. Yeah. If God didn't spare his natural family, the Jews, he sure ain't gonna spare no Gentile. Amen. If they do the same thing, Amen. make the same mistake, we cannot allow ourselves to get caught up in the spirit of unbelief. And I've been hitting hard on this because I want people to understand that, that, that it's an individual choice. Because somebody else makes a choice Amen. not to serve God completely. You can't let that affect your relationship with God because divine information to the individual comes to the individual. That's why Ruth could not have said, well, yeah, you, you right there. My sister not going back. I, I might as well go back to She didn't do that. Amen. But she know the sister not probably did. She knew her sister's no problem before she knew Naomi. Amen. But Naomi had put something inside of her Amen. and put something inside of Oprah. Yeah. But one believed and the other half believed. Amen. I don't think that the other one really didn't believe, but she had a decision to make. Oh, wait a minute. Right. I'm going to follow her to a strange mm -hmm. land. I don't know none of them people there. I know, I know, I know better than that. <laughs> and she didn't follow her either. But at the end, open up her eyes in heaven. And at the end, when the decision already made by the decision she had previously made. Amen. So when the trumpet God sound, it's already cut and dry. Amen. You made your choice. You made your decision. You cannot go against the word of God. Amen. Because it does not fit right with you all the time. And it's anger yep. that is developing within the people. Amen. You gotta stop that. That's right, brother. <laughs> What if you all of a sudden you fly off 
and you get angry at your sister, and the rapture comes. Boom. You can't say, Lord, I, I, I lost my temper for a minute. Will you forgive me? Too late. Amen. Get it right now. What's your right now? You ain't got to worry about it. You ain't Sometimes you got to pray say, well, Lord, you, you handle that person. They mistreat me and been mistreating me and doing me wrong. Would you take care of this? He'll take care of it. Amen. But he ain't going to take care of it in no time. Amen. And the way you think he ought to. Yeah. He'll take care of it the way he feels in the judgment of God that is decently and in order for all people. Amen. So we have to understand, brothers and sisters, you've got to make a conscious choice to follow God because you're going to need Him. And and to uh, take shallow lightly, be careful, don't do that. Shallow is a promise. Amen. The same as a promised land. If you obey, don't, don't, don't just take it lightly. Oh, we can get a better place than that. Yeah, you can. But you don't know what lies beyond the bend. You won't know what lies down the road. You can have a house full of kids in that corporate structure system, and you get laid off or lose your job or get sick and can't go to work for a period of time. You think that they're going to say, well, we're going to take, since you're in this condition, uh, we're just going to tear up the rent receipts. And we understand your children. That we understand. They ain't going to do that. Just they will put you out in a heartbeat. Yes. Mm -hmm. And might even cry with you, but they're going to put you out. Amen. Hallelujah. So a judge sent a person to life, young man, child of he was 14, 15. Now, how they tried him as an adult, I don't know how it got by. But when he finally went to court, he was 17 years old, and they tried him as an adult right there in Michigan. Child of and I overdrove him. The in and out of the court system, in and out of the court system, went too far. Now again, mother was in our church, his mother. And I went and prayed and tried to talk to the judge for him. And the judge said openly, there's nothing I can do. Amen. Once you convicted in the state of Michigan of capital murder, it's automatic life in prison without possibility of parole. Amen. And I never forget that young man looked at his mother and kind of waved his hand and walked away. And he'll be in that penitentiary till he dies. Now he came up in holiness church. What happened? Got into projects and started selling drugs and got kind of got kind of big in, in the projects. Boy challenged him and he grabbed the pistol and shot the boy in the eye. Killed him great God did. Now what's the result? He is in prison right now for the rest of his life. I'm saying, brothers and sisters, sometimes you've got to always understand there is a responsibility yes. in your life. Amen. And you cannot do things the way you want to do things. You've got to stay in the church of God. And you've got to make a commitment to God. And you can't say, because this ain't going to work. What my shadow home, uh, someone said, well, you're just mold on the walls and all this, and I'm glad I done got out of that. But you got to be patient. Amen. Amen. It's the final, the final chapter ain't, 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 ain't been wrote yet. All right. As far as you're concerned, you can beautify anything that you choose to and make it comfortable and nice. Now you ain't going to make it like the Hilton? No. Because it ain't the Hilton. But it's a place God gave you. Amen. Be thankful for it. Amen. Don't take it for granted. Why you deserve it? No, you don't deserve it. You deserve it. You know. How do you? We have to understand that on this earthly journey, we always ought to be confronted with decisions. Amen. And again, we've got malice, jealousy, anger. You got spirit of unbelief creeping in. Yeah. Always kind of trying to side check you. You got to learn how to steal yourself. Yeah. And bind that enemy. When you try to talk to him, you can watch him. You go. Amen. 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 And I've taught you, but you still can't take me with you. Amen. I love mother, but I know you. Amen. 
She got to go for get it on herself. So am I. So am everybody. You have to have your own testimony and your own personal relationship with God has to be established and God will send tests from time to time to find out if you are for real. last but a few weeks. Yes. Forty years to try to get their act right and for the prophet to teach them. And it got so difficult the prophet almost lost his salvation. Sure did. <laughs> Crazy people here. Amen. And God told him to speak to the rock. He took a staff and spoke to the rock. Sure Drink you rebels. Yep. He said. <laughs> <laughs> All God's people, rebels. <laughs> when he forgot they were still God's people. Four little bit, they still our children. Amen. People in the house of the face, sometimes they get weak, sometimes they slip. But they're still in the church. That's right, Until they leave the church. They are still in the church. Everybody don't run the race this thing. And that's why sometimes teaching have to go to correct. Not to uh Make the uh, make you unhappy and miserable necessarily, but it's to shake you up a little bit. Amen. Amen. So that you don't make the same mistake. I'm trying to get you the earth to glow. I'm trying to get you the earth. That's how all of you work. That's how you work. Oh, my first Thessalonians. Let me kind of connect this. Oh, uh, I want to pick up in. Chapter, chapter 4. Let's pick up verse 11. And that you study to be quiet and to do your own business and to what? And to do your <laughs> own business. God <laughs> already. Oh, oh, oh. You can start arguing already. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even mean to go that way. Thank you. <laughs> Stop worrying about other people. He called. And blah, 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 blah. Don't worry about that. Maybe it's the truth. Or maybe sometimes, maybe that's why they're angry because they, they told the truth on me. <laughs> 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 That's even the hands of God. Uh -huh. And to work with your own hands as we commanded you, that you may walk honestly toward them that are without, and that you may have lack of nothing. See, you set an example to those who are outside the world. Yes. And, and this is why I said you got to you got to keep your integrity with the holiness church intact. Because people are watching in holiness. That's right. And you got your head down and you miserable and people can sense it. I thought she was in holiness. She all miserable. She she don't like she don't like being in that church. It'll show. Once they find out about it, they, they, brothers, they will needle you in a way, and so will your relatives who are not in holiness. They'll needle you in such a way till you finally get discouraged. Next thing you know, you just like them. You out. And pretty soon you'll be testifying, oh, I'm so glad I got you living in that holiest church. <laughs> so glad. <laughs> Old fool. <laughs> ain't nothing like a fool who think they're smart. Amen. And they're actually a dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Verse 14. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Them who die before the rapture comes, they still go into heaven, the same as those who are alive. We? For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the angel. Uh -uh, not, no, not no angel. Right. The Bible says the Lord him, himself. Yeah. What do I didn't say themselves? Yeah. All right, brother. Amen. The out there. All right. It says the Lord himself. Now, him is singular. Yeah. Angel one going to come down from glory. Because angel one on the throne too come down. Yeah. So the Lord himself. Shall 
descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Watch, go. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet Ooh. the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Watch. Wherefore, comfort one another oh, with wait. these words. That word comfort, hallelujah. <laughs> Encourage one another. Tell everybody it's all right. He's coming. It's going to happen. Be encouraged. Be happy. Come to church happy and on fire. Don't worry about this and worry about that one. Worry about yourself. Say, well, I made it to church one more time. Lord, Lord, if you see something wrong, take it out. If you see God in me, take it out. Myself, I want you to help me. But if you keep in the press, yeah. you keep coming to church, that whatever is wrong will be eradicated because the word of God is going to take it out from you. And if you truly can become a different creature in Christ Jesus, Amen. you become complete. But you got to keep under the word, keep under the anointing, yeah. keep hearing the truth, Lord. and don't never get angry for you. It's the truth that gets all that jealousy and strife and bitterness out of you. That's right, God. So you can't come to church and clap your hands and shout. And not continue. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. Trouble comes your way. I'm talking about real trouble. Amen. I ain't talking about no occasion. Remember that real trouble. Amen. When the doctor tells you you got it. Yeah. And you tell the doctor you're a liar. Oh, no. You take it. You give it to me. That's why I say don't even know I'm doctor. They're scared you have to death. Oh, we saw it on the x-ray. Here it is right here. Oh, my God. I know. Amen. I walked out of that house in 1972. They had, they had, I said, I'm not going to fire. Young man, young man, I'm the head there. Bad heart, high blood pressure, diabetes, oh, oh, what else? Going up and get some more tests. No, I ain't going up here and make y'all lie again. I don't got you to tell Understand, Amen. brothers and sisters, that it's a faith process. Yes, yes. You got, first of all, you got to be taught faith, yes. and you can't just let anybody teach you faith. Amen. Faith it all. Yes. Everybody can't teach you faith. Oh, How oh, somebody oh, gonna teach you faith? And you ain't got no faith. Medicine go to sleep. Medicine to wake you up. Medicine get you through the day. Medicine to eat. <laughs> And they got a mess wrong with that. Hallelujah. Mother, praise God, don't take no medication. Yeah. <laughs> 
can't be happy to sing is because you're happy to sing yourself. All right, God. Every eye shall be holy. Church is coming back. Amen. And the Bible's real. Right. And God told you to get your act together. And I'm telling you now, get your act together. Amen. Stop worrying about who might leave, who you think gonna leave. Are you leaving? Right. One thing is for certain, if they leave you, be sure to say bye. All right. Hey, man. Ain't you coming? Am I coming? What you talking about? I know you done lost your mind. 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 I know you done lost but sooner or later, he's going to back off. Lord, I look. Don't think they've lost nothing. You ain't lost nothing. Don't think they've lost nothing. You're coming back. Goodness, 
Elder Ricky, presenting Elder Ricky. Four hundred dollars. Yeah. How many kids you got, Elder? Eight. <laughs> By their fruit, you shall know them. And the scripture teaches us, know ye not that your labor is not in vain. God is going to be true to his word. And he said that to the faithful, you could say to yonder mountain, be thou removed and cast into the sea, and it shall be. Didn't say it might be, didn't say sometimes it will be. It said shall be. Now, at the end of the mountain, in a situation where you are standing before a problem that you know you need God to intervene. Now, when God said, you say to the mountain, be thou removed, you are telling God, you want to be the remover of the problem that's in my life because I believe in you. We can do all things through what? Through Christ. Christ. That strengthens the So again, comes in. Without faith it's impossible to please God. He that comes to God must believe that he is. Is what? God? Amen. And that he is a reward of them who diligently seek him. Didn't say seek him. He said carefully seek him. How do you carefully seek God? Coming to church? Praising God? Yes. Yeah. Being part of the band, or whatever God gives you the ability and the talent to do, Amen. do that. Because the fall, God says, you don't have a talent, and you decide you don't want to because you got other plans. Right, right. Let me tell you something. Maybe God got other plans too. All right, Father. Think about it. Paul said, I count all things as animal waste that I might win Christ. Everything animal waste. I'm I'm trying to find God. I'm trying to get closer to God. And he did. The British Apostle went off. God needs to head cut off by a devil. Amen. But he said, I fought a good fight. I finished my course. Brothers and sisters, we got a race to run. And you can't stop and get off or sit down because you're tired. All right, keep going. Yeah, keep going. Amen. You know, the devil comes against you. Just keep on fighting. Amen. You keep on rebuking. No, no. You keep on claiming your victory. Yes, Lord. And you learn. How to remove yourself and to avoid them who are not of the household of faith. Right, right. Now this is this you gotta use wisdom. Uh, you, you gotta use wisdom. But you know how far to let an enemy of the church go in your life. Amen. All right, Father. Amen. Uh -huh. Hear me somebody. Amen. It's only what we do for Christ in this kingdom that's going to matter. And I'm able to sit up and tell you this, because I've been through the valley. And I know that God has a power that people in the finite will never be able to understand. Brothers and sisters, there is something in the spiritual kingdom of God that you would tell the average person, and they say, I know you're crazy. But I'm not crazy. <laughs> God's work in yeah. a way hallelujah see y'all ain't never been faced with a pain cutting through your chest and you couldn't catch your breath and you know what's happening Amen. ain't never faced with that I hope you don't Amen. but you'll go through something Amen. and then to see God move in on time and find that Amen. I'm talking about 
up in the matter of minutes. Yeah. Where'd that pain go to? Sometimes it takes a while for your breath to get straightened back out again. I have shortest breath every now and then. I ain't had nothing about six, seven, eight months. Thank you. maybe seven, eight months ago. But the same God who moved. Let's learn how to give it all over to Jesus. Let's learn how to be for real with him. This whole lesson has been about trying to be for real with God. Amen. And if you see something you know you need work on, all you got to do is bind it. Amen. Don't be foolish. Thank you so much for taking the time to hear the powerful word of truth from Prophet Bishop H. Walker. By way of special announcements, join Prophet Walker in True Life Pentecost Church every second Sunday of each month in Atlanta, Georgia at 957 Metropolitan Parkway at 4.30 p.m. Also join in with True Life every fourth Sunday of each month in Charlotte, North Carolina at 300 North Tryon Street located at the Public Library of Charlotte. For further details, go to www.truelightpentecost.org and click on announcements for any current events. Thank you so much for supporting Prophet Walker and the True Light Ministry. Be encouraged and be blessed. Blog Talk Radio.